Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your Xbox Series S console without using the Xbox app. You will not need other device because you can do this manually too. How we will perform this? The only thing we have to do is we have to dock our Xbox console with our flat screen, for example. HDMI port, then switch on the Xbox. And this is welcome screen. Now we should use an Xbox app by um, downloading it from the App Store or the Google Play Store. But we don't care. We are uh, going another way. For this, we need this Xbox wireless controller. It's included in the box. So how we perform now? The first step is we have to pair the console with the remote controller, okay? For this, we push the remote controller pairing button and now the X uh, symbol is flashing. Next step is we have to push and hold the pairing button on our controller. Now you can see it's flashing. Now it is connected. Now the controller and the Xbox are paired. The next step is, let's go. We have to push on that button here. This is the button with the three flat lines on it. Ooh, there's something going on. On the screen now, we can see hi for ease of access. We have to press and hold the the button here but we can now use our control to set up the language language setup in English okay let's go push a to select then United States United Kingdom United Arab Emirates etc etc and we push a to confirm this then we have to choose a connection a wired connection for example this is easy only Push the wire um, of your uh, local area network cable into the Xbox in the, in the rear side, just done. But we are going to um, use now a um, Wi-Fi connection. So here, now we have to enter the network password by using this keyboard in the back. Here you can see. A, 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 Now we have to enter the password for your Wi-Fi connectivity status will be added. If you enter the password, you can push again the three flat lines button on your controller. Next thing is we are now connecting to the wireless network. This will take, uh, no, no, no. it's not so long. A second, as you can see. Now it's all good and our console is connected to the internet. This is important. Now we go to next step. Where do you live? Choose your United Kingdom, United States, etc. And then the next thing is we will sign in with a Microsoft account. This is important. If we don't have one, we can, um, we can make it. We can make an Xbox uh, Microsoft account because the a Microsoft account is for the entire Microsoft family. It's for your Microsoft email services as well for your Xbox. It's really awesome and it's free. Okay, it will not cost you any any penny, any cent. You have to sign in yet. Now that means you will have to enter email or phone or Skype then a password, and then we will continue with the next step. It's the same, you have to use the controller and the keyboard. Let's do that. So we entered our um, data into it. It means um, your Microsoft identification, email address, and your PIN. Then the next step is how they use our data. We can read, tell more, or we can go to the next step. So let's go. Next step is now we have to get some information. We can make our Xbox experience better 
by send optional data, no thanks, or tell me more for more information. You can choose what you like. Get them some data to make the experience of your gaming Xbox um, better or not. Then, when they share data with publishers, they have to share because you can download um, so many different games from different brands, etc. So they need your, your data. They found all system settings and preferences from our last Xbox. That means if you had an Xbox before, an S, an X, etc., then you can um, get these information, set up, etc., out of the cloud into that new Xbox. Apply settings or no thanks, as you like. Then sign in and security preferences. No barriers. On this Xbox, people can sign you in, see your data on web pages that use your Microsoft account, change your settings and buy things without extra steps. This is the thing, if you're at home, choose that. As for my passkey, they will ask us for our passkey before we sign in, buy things or change our settings. This is the, the medium factor. Then lock it down. You have to authorize, sign in, buying things and change settings with a Microsoft account every time. If you're at home, use no barriers. How do you want to sign in? Use instant sign in or link controller. Or we can skip this. Use instant sign in. This is the fast way to have fun with your Xbox. Series S. So, Next thing is, we can discover the next favorite games by buying an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. But this will cost money. So, no thanks. And choose now our time zone. Pacific time, um, 24 hours clock, automatic adjust for daylight saving, etc. Next step, then, while we are not using this console, this is the energy saving mode. Slow startup time, this is not good. You might be interrupted for updates. Saves power while your console is off, that's good. Instant on, we can choose instant on, faster startup time, we can use voice to wake up the, our, our Xbox, and we can only use the Xbox um, remote play if the console is instant on, okay? Keep our games and apps up to date. Okay. Find the best setting for our television. That means now the Xbox is checking the uh, resolution. In this case, it's 4K. So, okay. 4K is okay. So, let's go. We are all done setting up our Xbox. It's now time to play with them. And here you can see we are inside and can navigate easily in or with our Xbox Series S. That's really awesome and easy. And we do not have to use an Xbox app for it, as you can see. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel soon soon.